Hey Cancers, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, messages please. For Cancers, what do they need to hear or know? Messages for Cancers. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, welcome back you guys. Thank you for tuning in. For Cancers, what's going on? We have the King of Cups. Your energy coming straight out, okay? Six of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. And the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be interested in a fire sign. Mm. Some of you could have a fellow water sign who's very attracted to you. Mm. You could also be in some type of separation from this person as well. I'm just feeling a little bit of like standoffishness between the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. There could be some issues surrounding money here as well with the Six of Pentacles. Mm. Barely giving to the situation. The Empress is here at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Mmm. You could also be in a position where someone is thinking about the past, kind of fantasizing about the past with you, with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here. Mm. Let's see what this is. Damn, it's a lot of people already. <laughs> now we have the Empress and the Queen of Swords when I split the deck. Already a lot of people, so let's get into it. Let's see what this is for Cancers. What's going on? King of Cups. Show me that King of Cups for Cancer. What is that energy? King of Cups. King of Wands. Wow, we are getting a lot of people, you guys. King of Wands. Seven of Cups is here. Someone is feeling a lot of passion there's a lot of passion here. Mm, with the high priestess. So are you secretly, for some of you cancers, you could be secretly attracted to someone. With the king of wands and seven of cups, you could, this could be a secret. Pisces energy is here. Six of swords is here. The knight of wands, okay. And the seven of pentacles. Uh, in the past, you could have been dealing with a younger fire sign. So I, I just feel like someone is still secretly kind of fantasizing. That's what it feels like. Someone is still thinking about what happened in the past between the two of you. This could be you, your person, or both. Vice versa. Put the characters where they go, as I always say. But someone is definitely thinking about the past. Show me the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands there. We have the Three of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Cups. So now we have matches. King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Wands. Yeah. So someone is thinking about this connection. How the two of you had emotions or were very attracted to each other. At one point. Mm. I feel like someone is wanting to reach out to you, wanting to talk to you with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Wanting to talk to you about something that happened in the past. You, Chariot, Cancerian energy. The Tower, kaboom, Scorpio's energy is here. Three of Swords. Someone is really feeling like if I move forward to talk to Cancer or to to explain something to them or tell them about what happened in the past, it's going to cause the Three of Swords some type of heartache, disappointment. Show me that. Judgment is here. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Someone's wanting to work on this, but they're not taking action yet to do it. 
it's almost like they fear the wrath or they, <laughs> they fear what you may say. Or this could be you, remember, vice versa. This could be you fearing what someone is going to say if you try to reach out. Show me. For Cancers, what's that six of pentacles? Something flipped up. The five of swords. Show me that six of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is here. Let me move these cards. Sometimes they get in the way of each other. We have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Sun. Leo's energy is here. Yeah. For some of you, this could be a Leo. It could be a Leo that you're trying to talk to or a Leo is, is wanting to talk to you, but things are moving a bit slow here. Or you have to strategize on how to talk to the top. How to talk to this person. Y'all have been tripping over my words. Forgive me. Trying to bring it together with, with the energy of the devil here. Capricorn's energy with the queen of swords. Oh, someone is mad here. Nine of swords. Someone is upset. Someone is mad here. Mm-mm. So someone could be upset that this is moving slow or this is not going anywhere or this is their fear. Someone could be obsessing over this connection as well with the devil energy, queen of swords, nine of swords, two of cups, knight of cups. Yeah, wanting to date. Feeling like you are their soulmate with the energy of the two of cups here. It could be a Libra for some of you with justice. Or someone is like tortured by these thoughts of like wanting to make something right. Something that happened in the past between you and this person. Somebody wants to make it right. But I do see that there has been a tower, the Three of Swords. There has been some type of like a really bad ending. Like the the ending was bad between the two of you. There could have been a third party involved. So the ending was not good. So that's what's making it hard for this person to come back around. They may feel like... Uh, I don't even want to say shy. Shy is not the word I'm looking for. They may feel really bad for what happened. Show me the queen of wands here. We have the hermit. Virgo's energy is here. The ace of pentacles. Someone is hiding that they want to give you the ace of pentacles. Five of pentacles. With the ten of cups. Could definitely be missing you. This person could definitely be missing you. They could also be tied up in another financial situation. When we get all these pentacles, they could be tied up in another financial situation with a family. Okay? They could be married. They could have kids. But they're attracted to you with the energy of the Queen of Wands. What does this person want to say to Cancers at this time? What do they want to say to Cancer? Empress. Temperance. Okay. And the Five of Wands. They're fighting through something right now. They're going through some type of drama. Like I said, they could be married with my husband wife card with the Empress. Things are taking time. They may be trying to smooth things out, but there's a lot of fighting or arguing. This could be your energy as well. Somebody is fighting with a husband or a wife. Someone is going through something dramatic with the energy of the five of wands. Four of wands is here. The full energy and the three of wands. They wish they could just get away from it all. They really do. They wish they could just get away from it all. You know. Yeah. 
but it's difficult. Whoa. Six of Wands in reverse, Eight of Cups. They may feel like it's not going to be a victory. They may feel like something is not going to be a victory it, if they came toward you. They may also be struggling with their confidence right now. I'm going to be honest, Cancer. This could be a Pisces for some of you. With the Hangman, it could be a Leo strength card. They're struggling here because things are held up. They could be going away to work on things or staying distant to work on things, not feeling very victorious, not feeling very confident or attractive right now with the energy of the Six of Wands reverse. What does Cancer feel about, or how rather, does Cancer feel about this person? How does Cancer feel about this person? Page of Cups. Magician manifesting to a pentacles. I'm telling you, for some of you cancers, you could be the one that's like trying to apologize to this person. That's why I said maybe you're the one who's married or taken or in a rough situation. And you really want to apologize to this person and make things right. Okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like it's the uh, the other way around. It's reversed. Yeah. Where it, it's almost like you may hear this person's apology, but you don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to do with it. Or you may hear this person out or be willing to hear them out with Page of Cups, but in order to manifest something, it's like I'm not sure. Two of Pentacles. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, for, forgive you, but I'm not sure if I want anything with you or I want a relationship with you. Mm. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what else is going on for cancers? What else do they need to hear and know? What else? Page of Wands is here. The Will of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. Communication will come in. You're going to hear from this person. Three of Cups, possibly to reunite, to reconcile. You will be hearing from this person, okay? Or you will have the opportunity to actually talk to this person with Page of Wands, Will of Fortune, and the Eight of Wands. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. Someone wants to tell you that they feel very bad for the past. Someone here feels very past, You very past. I told y'all I keep tripping over my words, y'all. Jupiter is in retrograde, not Mercury, but Lord knows it feels like Mer Mercury in retrograde. Um, but I feel like both of you may have some regrets from the past. And there needs to be some type of truth spoken here with the Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. Someone may really want to talk to you. Mm. They could be spying right now. Trying to see if you would still have your guard up. Uh, anything else for Cancers? Taurus's energy with the Har font, the Ten of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a difficult Taurus or a marriage. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, your marriage or your relationship is weighing heavy on you. Could be stressful. For some of you with the Taurus, for some of you with the Leo, their energy. Seven of Swords. Mm, the Death card. It may be difficult to end this. So let me say this. If you're in an unhappy marriage or relationship... Instead of being deceptive, you need to just be honest about how you're feeling. You need to be honest. Also, if you're dealing with a, a bad job situation, maybe your job is stressing you out, just be honest about it and go ahead and end it. 
You may be afraid to end something, whether that's a job or relationship, whatever it is. You may be afraid to end something. Go ahead and end it or take the steps that you need to take to start ending something. We have Queen, King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Look at that. Yeah, some of you could find, for some of you, you could find love with an air sign. Mm, or a an earth sign for some of you. Yeah, someone wants to come back in. Two of Wands, two of or two of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. Someone wants to come back in. Ace of Cups to renew this love between the two of you. You could be very different from this person. Whenever I get two court cards that are different, that are back to back like this, this person could be very different from you. Okay, they may not be used to opening up or sharing what's going on, or vice versa. This could be you as well. Mm. So there's a lot happening in this situation. Let me come to this deck. Advice or insight? Advice or insight for cancers? What's going on? Patience. Yeah, something is taking time. Pregnancy is here. We have open your heart and earth sign. Mm. Date night. So an earth sign may want you to open your heart. An earth sign may want to have a child with you for some of you. For some of you, you could be manifesting a child with an earth sign. Okay? But something is taking time. So yeah, you may be trying to get pregnant at this time with your partner. And something could be taking time. For some of you cancers, you may need to know that. Or that's confirmation rather for you. That uh, a pregnancy could take time or you may have to put in a lot of work or effort to have a child. Yeah. Mm. What else for cancers? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what else? Let go. Date night. Challenges. Uh-huh. And commitment. Let me get one more. Health. No, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you need to let go of anyone who poses a challenge. Okay? When it comes to dating, going out with someone, getting to know someone romantically, let go of dating people who have problems, who have baggage, or there's challenges, or someone, let me say this, let go of anyone who challenges you. When it comes to dating, okay, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that difficult to get to know someone or date someone. So if you're saying that a romantic situation is, you know, ridden with all kinds of issues, problems, third parties, you know, just all kinds of communication issues and people are afraid of commitment and stuff like that, it's a no, you got to say no, okay? Think about the health of your commitment. Think about the health of your commitment. And also for those of you who are married, are there challenges surrounding you and the romantic department with this person? Some of you need to get the romance back. Your commitment is undergoing some type of health crisis. Okay, if you are in a relationship, it may not be going well if you're married or committed already. Mm. Some of you saying no to an air sign because there's no intimacy there. The intimacy is slow between you and an air sign. Wow. Anything else, Cancers, we need to hear or know? What was that? Falling in love for Cancers? Anything else? Psychic connection, falling in love with someone that you really have a deep connection with. It could be a twin flame. Know that you are worthy of this, worthy of love. And one more, 
Rendezvous. Oh, uh, I got to get one more for that one. And Spirit Soul Path. Yeah. <laughs> so for, for you, Cancer, make sure that it's not just a rendezvous. Know that you are worthy of having love, having that amazing connection with someone. You are worthy, okay? Not just of a one-night stand, but you're worthy of having a spirit soul path with someone. The two of you, your paths aligning and coming together, okay? Physical touches here. That may be someone's love language or that may need to be what's brought back into a marriage or a relationship with a current partner. One advice card for cancers from this deck. Look at that. Spirit is saying, take back your power. That's a mic drop moment, honestly. Cancers, take back your power. It says, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You may want to screenshot that one. Take back your power. So if anything or anyone is making you feel powerless in a relationship, on a job, in your family, with your friendship circle, whatever it is, make sure that you know your worth. You are worthy. Remember, spirit is trying to get you to see something. Take back your power. You are not powerless. You are powerful. All righty, Cancers. That is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.